If I want this guy to uh, disappear, maybe when I hit the space bar, I'd probably do something like this. Um, well, maybe what I can do is just when the space bar is pressed, tell uh, this sprite to hide itself. So, that's it. Now, maybe when I press the up arrow, I want him to return. Just for our example. Up arrow, space, up arrow, space. Okay, so I guess I don't need this right now. It's kind of boring. He just disappears and reappears. Maybe what I'd like is to have some kind of effect when he um, appears and disappears. So one way I can do that is to use graphic effects, which we haven't really done yet. I could probably say that when we hide him, uh, it's an effect. He dissolves away. That would be nice. But when he reappears, uh, we basically want to get rid of whatever effects we've done. So we're in effect, we're using these graphic effects instead of hide and show, or we might need them. Um, we can just leave those on the ends just to be sure that everything's back to normal. That's a possibility too. I don't know, we'll see. So uh, one way I can do it is to change the effect by a certain amount. Let me, let me put the show and hides back in there. Just so we can get him back. Here he is, he's back. Okay, and when I hit the space bar, something happens. And you can see here, the color changed, but because I have the hide in there, it didn't quite work out. So I'll try it again. If I hit space, the color is changed by a certain amount. Okay, so there's other effects here. Pixelate. He pixelates. Um, when I hit the up arrow, all those effects, you saw that color and pixelate were happening. Uh, and then when I hit the up arrow, clear graphic effects gets rid of all that stuff. So what I, what I think I want to do is instead of changing it um, just by by 25, or I could change it to a specific amount, not change it by a 25 amount. Um, and in fact, let's try this. If I hit space and I keep hitting space, we can see that it's it's uh, adding 25 onto the pixelate effect every time. So it gets more and more pixelated. So can I do that uh, in kind of an animation? That's that would be nice. So let me bring him back. And if I go to control and repeat 10 times, just like I did with the space bar just now, I made him gradually go away, I can say repeat 10 times. And if I try it now, he sort of dissolves a bit. I'd like it if he also disappeared at the end. So that's where hide comes in. So that's a way to make him uh, reappear and then hide. Reappear, hide. And we could try other effects here. Ghost is a nice one because uh, if I bring him back with the up arrow and then hit ghost with the space bar, he, he just sort of disappears. And I could slow that down uh, by reducing the amount. So 10 times it's reducing the ghost effect by five. And you know, like I could, I could play around with these numbers. Maybe I repeat 20 times. So I think the effect would probably take longer. There it is. So there's lots of ways to do this, but this can add some animation to places where you were just turning things on and off. There you go.